All right, guys, I got this little cool trick for you guys. If you're working with Golang Temple, HTMX, Tailwind, CSS, and all that stuff, um, it's basically hot reload, hot refresh without uh, even the need to refresh your browser manually, right? So uh, let me give you an example here. So I'm not that. I'm at the fan way, fan way, with the fa on the fan made page. What the hell? Still early. I'm so sorry. So let me open up the home uh, temple file here. So let me what's this? Let me basically change. You see this? Um, create AI personas and materialism. So let's delete this um, from completely and let's say, for example, hello world. Let's save this and let's go back. You see, it's automatically changing to hello world, and I do not need to do anything, right? Um, basically, because uh, it's automatically basically ref uh, refreshing for us, right? So there is a little bit of a delay, but it's yeah, it depends on your on your computer. It's not 100% perfect, perfect, but uh, it works very very well, uh, much better than just refreshing yourself, and it's only getting way better so how do we do that well let me show you but before we continue if you're not yet subscribed to the channel guys consider subscribing 50 percent of you are just leeching uh, all my hard work consider subscribing give me a thumbs up leave some leave some stuff in the comments to boost this in the algorithm jump into my discord community where we can all learn 24 7 and for the people that are really interested at building something similar than fan mate completely from scratch with htmx goal and temple and tailwind styling Stripe integration, uh, Cloudflare, images, the whole shebang. I have made this course. It's still in pre-sale. We already uh, we are sitting at uh, episode uh, lesson seven already, and there are going to be much more lessons. It's at thirty-three percent discount. Check the link down in the description so you can also build a multi-million-dollar company, and that's no lie. See for yourself. Always put the money where my mouth is. So how do we do this? basically um a couple things let me open up a make file <coughs> so i have basically um three of these uh three of these terminals open one basically to listen to my front end uh, to listen to my tailwind changes right my css changes uh, then i basically have my air running right my air file and then i have my special uh, temple uh, command running that basically is watching proxying my requests and injecting some voodoo witchcraft uh, so basically it can hot reload the browser each time there is a change so um, how do we do that well i will basically post these uh, commands in the description as well so you can basically also have the same thing of course you need to basically change for your tailwind you will probably need to change this stuff up because i have view css maybe you have something else um, but you can figure that out yourself so basically the first thing we need is actually a temple and what this does is basically temple generate and you're watching um, and it will proxy uh, from your local host in my case it's 3000 this is basically your http server uh, that is getting spinned up each time you run the air command right in my case it's 3000 in your case it could be 9000 7333 uh, i don't know 8080 whatever you want to use this is the port this is the command you need right um and then you basically also need uh, your Tailwind stuff, which is basically just Tailwind CSS, the input file, minus O, the output file, and you watch it, right? And then you basically have just your air command. And very important, this in your air config, which I will also post in the description, uh, is the CMD command needs to be just a go build. Well, basically it needs to, uh, this is fine, the go build minus O, because my main is in the root. If your main is not in the root, for example, a lot of people are putting their main dot go their entry main file of their whole application in the cmd folder well then you need to basically build your cmd folder um, or whatever your main is or application uh, and very important is you cannot exclude uh, files you cannot exclude your temple go files most of the time these air configs they will come with excluding these little files here uh, where can i show you like uh, of course now it's 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 working but that's classical shenanigans here no worries about that uh, these files right you're basically excluding them but you can't uh, it will all be taken care of for you so don't do that but i will post all this stuff basically in the description so it's uh, it's it's basically just a copy paste right uh, so enable to do that let me basically kill all these things here right let me stop this let me stop the air and let me stop the tailwind css each time I basically go into work on my project, the first thing I do is I do a make tailwind uh, like this, press enter, and it's going to watch for my changes. The next step I do is I basically um, 
just press air right and it's going to uh, boot up air with my config and then the last step I need to do here is basically do a make temple which is going to you see this is a this is exactly what I want from time to time you're gonna have these race conditions and that's well known by the authors it's still somewhat in a eh, development stuff most of the time it's gonna work but if you have this error it's pretty normal you just need to refresh your browser here and try again and it's not maybe stop your ads you see this is a little bit annoying I'm not gonna lie but um, yeah, this is very, very annoying. I'm not gonna lie here. Let me actually close this browser to be honest. Maybe that's better. Yeah, so you just close your browser, right? And then you go back to your local host. Um, seven thingy here, seven. Yeah, this is done. Boom. You see, uh, like I said, this is not 100% prediction ready and it's not very well documented. So that's why you probably didn't know it. Um, but I swear to God, 99% of the times it's going to work pretty well for you. And way much better than just refreshing, right? So you see, create unmatched realism. What is that? Let me fix that real, uh, real quick. And uh, create AI personas. Let's save this, and it's going to reflect here in my browser automatically. You see, very handy for if you're basically messing around with CSS and trying to to style things, and always need to refresh for minor things. It's just so annoying. And we can also do that right now. Of course, keep in mind it's still some kind of a rub on the edges. Most of the time, it's gonna work. But sometimes it's not but then you just close your browser reopen it uh, but if you just touch it once and you don't touch it your your three commands your three terminals open you don't kill them then it's going to work pretty well uh, the only thing happens uh, the borking happens when you're basically just shutting things down rebooting stuff and it's getting out of sync you know what i mean all right so basically that's it i hope you like it all, everything will be in the description uh, don't forget to subscribe if you really want if you like the content i'm providing to you Give me a thumbs up. Check out the course. Link in the description. Love to see you in my next video or live stream. Love you all.